today. And uh, before we get uh, started, I want to uh, uh, preface this with the fact that uh, obviously tomorrow we're going to have a, an official introductory press conference with, uh, with Dell. And today, because of the circumstance in the meeting, we wanted to make sure that we uh, facilitated you all with some comments and all regarding the meeting with, uh, with Chris this morning because uh, we understand the need uh, to, uh, to get some information on, on that. So we'd like to, once Dell makes his comment, we're going to have time for about three or four questions, but we'd like him to, to be particularly on Chris Paul's subject. And then again, tomorrow at the press conference, we'll be able to discuss a lot more in detail and future plans. And uh, lastly, before we begin, um, we do have a, a statement uh, from Chris Paul that I'd like to go ahead and read um, before uh, I turn it over to Dell. And this is from Chris Paul, quote, uh, the meeting went well. It was, a great, it was great to get an opportunity to sit down with Coach Williams, President Weber, and our new general manager, Dell Demps. I expressed my desire to win, and I like what they said about the direction that they want to take the team. I have been a Hornet my entire career, and I hope to represent the city of New Orleans and the state of Louisiana for many years to come. Again, that's a uh, direct quote from uh, Chris Paul. And with that, I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to, uh, to Dell uh, for uh, a few comments. First of all, I say thank you guys for being here today, and uh, I'm really excited to be here myself. Uh, this morning, Chris, Paul, uh, his agent Leon Rose, and his brother uh, CJ Paul met with uh, Hugh Weber and Monty Williams, and we met at about 10 a.m. We met for about an hour and a half, and uh, I thought it was a very productive meeting. Uh, I was encouraged. I was, uh, it was the first time I met Chris. It was a good opportunity for us to open the lines of communications. And um, Chris uh, had some very good points. Um, he's a smart, young, intelligent person. And uh, I was really excited about the meeting. Did any time uh, Chris Leon or his brother formally request a trade or talk about wanting to be traded from New Orleans? He get right to the point, huh? <laughs> he did not. He did not. He did not request a trade. Did he seem disgruntled whatsoever, or what was his demeanor? Was he? Uh, he was. He was energetic. He was open. He was honest. Uh, I think he just showed that he wants to win, and you know that's that's what we want to do as well. <clears throat> what are you confident that he will play with the Hornets this season? I am. There's been so much conjecture. It seems like. So much hearsay, things said, and, and weddings and things like that. How much did Chris see Chris uh, confirm as far as his desires to sort of put out there to be? Um, it didn't really go there. Uh, you know, Chris was just, you know, he talked about, he asked what was, you know, what was the direction of the team going, and he really wanted to talk to us, and, you know, we kind of talked about some things that we're going to look to do in the future, and, uh, you know, he, he seemed, he seemed, in my opinion, you know, excited and ready to play. Did you present any options to him? There were reports that you all would present a plan, potentially other trades or moves you could make to build a team around him. Did you present things that were on point or was it kind of very general? I would say it was in general. Um, you know, and I, I must say to you guys is that I, I really understand and respect your jobs and I know you guys have a lot of questions, but there are going to be some things that we're going to have to keep private. and. Uh, I just feel that that would be the best thing to do, but I do want to give you guys something because it has been publicized. Uh, you know, I'm new at this, so I hope you guys can uh, be kind and bear with me. But uh, you know, I thought Monty Williams and you were great along the process. I really want to thank Chris, Leon, and CJ for being here today, and uh, I thought it was a very productive meeting. Right, don't worry about you presenting to them. Like, were there things that you feel like you can do immediately, or I mean, I know you don't want to be specific, but right? You know, it, it's you know, I think we just have to put together the plan and the process. And um, you know, Chris is a smart guy; he understands what's going on, and uh, you know, it, it was very productive. Are you worried about this becoming a season-long distraction? Because five years ago, it was a similar situation with Aaron Davis, and it seemed like every bad game, it was does he want to trade? Does he want to play? Is he really hurt? Is, is this be something that just lingers and becomes an distraction all season long. I hope not. I don't anticipate that, but 
I don't think so. What if anything made this extraordinary beyond just a normal new coach and GM player meeting? In what, in what way was it? They had some great desserts there. Not just joking. But, uh, not actually, uh, you know, just opening lines of communication, just being able to talk. So was and there anything that set it apart from any other meeting that you might have? I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, it was just you know, it was an open line of communications. Still, ultimately, I mean, the franchise had the, the cards. Yeah, I mean, was there a moment where you got, I guess, essentially said, are on the contract? No. Let's go. Uh, time for one last question. Basically, because of yeah. where you are with the with the tax and the money, aren't you kind of limited to what you can do with somebody else? Mm -hmm. I think you, there's there's always ways to be creative, you know. I think you know I'm an optimist. I always think that you know I think we're gonna sit down, we're gonna evaluate all the the, the roster. We're gonna look at all our pieces, and I think we're just gonna move forward and do what's in the best interest of the organization. Great. Thank you, Dale. Thank you again, everybody. Tomorrow.